हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम बैक आवर ऑनलाइन क्लास साइंस सेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज द टेंथ चैप्टर दैट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ मटेरियल ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो इन प्रीवियस दैट मींस इन प्रीवियस चैप्टर ऑलरेडी यू हैव स्टडीड दैट वाटर ऑक्सीजन फूड इज वेरी एसेंशियल पार्ट एसेंशियल थिंग्स फॉर सर्वाइवल ऑफ लाइफ ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स यस सो विदाउट द फूड और ऑक्सीजन और वाटर द लाइफ और द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स कैन नॉट एग्जिस्ट दे कैन नॉट सर्वाइव दे आर लाइफ यस सो हाउ दे आर टेकिंग प्लेस ऑलरेडी वी हैव डिस्कस इन दट एलियर चैप्टर दैट मीन्स इंजेक्शन डाइजेसन दर सो मेनी मेथड्स आर देयर हाउ द फूड इज टेकिंग डाइजेसन हाउ दैट इंजेक्शन एंड ए Ejection also we have studied the different phase of that food how like a utilizing in our body. But friends, today we are going to discuss in this chapter what are that specially how that food is utilizing and a how some foods whenever it is entering to the body how they are entering how they are digesting and already we have discussed. But you know that very well when the food is utilizing the different parts there are so many organs are acting on that. Yes. so in this chapter we'll discuss how that energy how that things is circulating and what are that after that utilizing that the waste things how that uh, removing by that path and what are the different way what are the main organs are working in this systems and we will discuss in this chapter so before that we'll discuss what are that learning objects then after we'll go to that chapter so students you should see here learning objectives First of all, we will discuss in this chapter the circulatory system in heart, blood vessels, and the brain. How that in heart is the main components or main organs for the circulatory okay system. Okay, and also different organs are there. We will discuss, but first of all, main thing is the heart. Second, excretion that kidney and a, that how that excretions are uh, the waste materials are uh, removing from the body. That is also main part of this system. Okay. Next, transport of the substance in plants also same like in animals as usual as well. Plants also doing that all that transporting system or circulatory systems. Okay, and like the excretion and the uh, uh, transportation of that water or circulatory system of the blood and the excretion and uh, removing that water all that waste things like that human beings or the animals as usual as well. in plant cases also it is happening. Next. What is that transpiration? Transpiration also. What is that in that uh, uh, plant cases? We will discuss in this chapter. Okay, friends. So you know that some single cell animals. What do you mean by single cells? That means which one? Which organisms or that animals are having that only one cell? Do you have idea about that? That is suppose amoeba. Okay. If you will see that amoeba, how it is doing that? If it is a one cell, it is only uh, it is a one one cell. Then how it is doing this all these systems? How that circular systems or what is that excretion? How it is doing that taking place? Whether it is living organism, it needs food, it needs oxygen, it needs that all the things are replacing. So how there it is doing this all the activities? Now students, there is one activities only one that uh, diffusion. Okay, by the diffusion, already I have told in the previous that earlier chapter, the, by the process of diffusion, that it is doing that uh, what is uh, respiration. Same like students, digestion also and uh, excretion, all that things by the process of diffusion. That means when that is the movement of that substances one uh, one part to that other parts that uh, then it will be digestion or it will be. Injection, all the process will be take place by the single cell like a amoeba. Okay, so what is that? Let us see that first of all we will discuss what is the diffusion. So right now, students, diffusion means what? Diffusion is a passive movement of substances from a region of their high concentration to a region of their low concentration. Low concentration. Their high concentration, high concentration place is there one, and low concentration place is there. Why are that place? If there is Uh, upper part is there high concentration then then slowly it will move to the lower concentration part okay and uh, there whenever the movements like that it will come changes then 
that it will be digestion or it will be injection or like that uh, it will be take place okay students but students first of all we are going to discuss about the what is the circulatory system and all that things whatever that uh, circulatory system is also in take place in that time uh, human beings are also or animals and uh, as well as also in plants okay so in the animals uh, their blood vessels are helping for that and uh, uh, to the transport or uh, circulatory systems and uh, in that uh, animals or uh, the plants there are uh, some vessels like that what are pipeline say, structures are there we can say that uh, vascular tissues tissues or uh, and uh, also we can say that what is that uh, vascular tissues or uh, conducting tissues we can help for that uh, uh, it is uh, helping for the transporting systems okay students so first of all we will discuss about that uh, what is the circular system? So, it is a transport system that moves substances through out the body with the blood. Okay. It is a transport system that moves the substances through out the body with the help of a blood. In our body, everywhere, every part of that body, that the blood is there. Okay. Through that blood, it helps to the circular systems. Yes. All the substances moving by the blood. That means through the blood okay through the blood okay suppose you you have taken that food and uh, whenever it will be digest in the stomach then after will get that water nutrients yes that nutrients will reach in the different part of our body how through the blood through the blood blood will reach in the different part of that uh, our body okay and through that blood it will be uh, contain and it will be uh, mix and it will go to the different parts of the our uh, organs or different part of our uh, body. So this system is called as a what is that? Circulatory system. The circulatory system is nothing but it is the movement of the substances through the blood throughout the our body. Okay, and uh, different organs like uh, heart, uh, kidney, and uh, liver. That all that systems they are helping for this work. So, specially heart and a kidney, it is helping for the uh, transporting systems and uh, through the blood vessels are there, veins are there, uh, artery there and through that the bloods are transporting to the different organs or different part of the our body. Yes. So, this we will discuss thoroughly in the next video. Okay students, thank you all of you. Have a nice day.